Hello everybody, Yellow Mustang here again with another Roblox game development video. Today we are back in our world again. Um, last time we got the arms uh, aiming properly for this guy. Well, one of the arms at least. And we were messing around in the strafe script. So I want to clean this script up and put this stuff back into the aim script over here. So let's just delete this. We're going to copy and paste essentially from here. Um, yeah, copy that, paste here, game, get service, run service, dot, uh, render, stepped, connect, function, and all this good stuff here, then end, okay. And I guess we need to get the mouse, the local mouse equals script.parent, or uh, game.players.localplayer get mouse. Okay, so that should be good. So that should update the arm. Let's, let's re-enable that. Clean this up a little bit here. So all that's doing is adjusting the camera position now, every render step. Um, do we need the humanoid anymore in here? Yeah, we do. And we need the root for rotating the player. Okay, looks like everything else is good in the strafe script for now. We'll be working on that later today, I think. But let's get the other arm aiming now. Okay, so all we gotta do is do left arm left arm left arm that's uncapitalized that left arm and then left arm left arm okay there now both arms should uh follow follow our mouse cursor wherever we aim hopefully let's go ahead and test that out oh. Why does one of them not work? Interesting. What on earth? Okay. Maybe the uh, rotation is wrong for that arm for some reason. Let's bring this guy back into workspace here. All right, let's see. So I know we fixed the right arm. The right arm was looking good, but left arm, I thought we just duplicated it. Let's see, so front surface is over there. That's weird. Uh, top surface is top. Okay, so we updated the right arm apparently and did not do the left arm. So that's annoying. So we can just delete this whole arm, I think. Let's make a backup of this guy and put him over there just in case. I think we're done with you. You're old. All right, so let's go ahead and select this shit. Delete. And then we can just copy all of this good stuff and duplicate. And then just slide it over. Get it perfectly aligned, hopefully. All right, let's turn on collisions here, and then we can do very small increments until we're against it. All right, that should be about good. All right, now let's just go ahead and rename these parts here. So left, upper part, and then lower, uh, left, lower part also should be good. And then we gotta update these welds. think let's see so left lower arm okay so it looks like that is welded fine what about this one I guess the weld is in the torso yeah so left arm upper weld let's update this to left arm there we go that should be good all right, so we can go ahead and put this guy back into 
starter player again. Let's run this again. And then now it should be aiming properly. Okay, perfect. So now you can see our weapons are now aiming properly uh, as we look around here. So that is perfect, exactly how we want it. It's in its own local script. So that is great. Um, let's see here. So I wanted to update the strafe camera a little bit because I was playing the actual Risk of Rain game that I'm modeling this after. And I noticed that the camera like raises uh, and lowers whether you're looking up or down to give you a better uh, view of what you're looking at. So let's do in here we can do minus uh, tilt divided by four. So that will move the camera up and down based off of where we're looking, uh, how far the camera is tilted. Um, let's go ahead and test that that actually works. Okay, so you can see as we look down, the camera raises so we can see more of what is in front of us. And when we look um, up, the camera lowers so we can see uh, more space above us. So that's good. So let's go ahead and loosen up the camera a little bit with this as well. So we can make that 50, I suppose. And we can up this to like 20, maybe. Uh, could be good. All right, so let's go ahead and run this again. Okay. Yeah, that's much better. I have much, much wider um, field of view here now that we've done that. Arms are looking pretty good, keep up fairly well. So if we were to implement shooting now, this would look pretty good. Um, I guess we should probably do some animations now for this guy here, because it looks kind of weird that he's kind of just like sliding around the map. So let's go ahead and get out of this. And you can see his arms still follow wherever the cursor look, even when the uh, strafing is turned off, which is nice. So let's go ahead and bring this guy into the workspace here uh, delete this so we need a sidestep animation form so let's go ahead and jump into the animation editor create okay so I guess our um, motors are broken instead of the torso so let's see here, let's just go ahead and delete the shoulder motors because we do not need them any longer. Uh, let's try this again. Yep, whatever. All right, so all we gotta worry about is the head and the legs while we're strafing. Pretty much should be easy enough. So starting uh, position, we want to be straight, I guess. So 0 0.75, uh, let's bring I don't really know how to make a good, decent strafing animation exactly. Like when you strafe, you like sidestep, which would be one foot at a time, right? So you step out like that. And then... We can... Well, we need to set a keyframe here first, don't we? So add keyframes all along here. So that can be the starting default position. Then we can come here, paste the selection. Okay. Okay, so he sticks his leg out. <clears throat> okay, so doing some research online about strafing, or well, actually just walking around looking what strafing looks like it looks like both legs do come apart oh, Jesus what the hell are you doing both legs uh, do come apart like so and then they should uh, come back together so copy then paste selection So I think, I think it looks kind of weird because he is standing still right now. But I believe if we put this into motion, it'll look better. Um, I do want to get these. 
really hate it when it does that. I I want to get these things like somewhat even though. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, that looks okay, I guess. Select these all and just paste them in over here. Okay. Okay, and this is normal. Bring the normal to here. Bring these over, bring these over. Okay, this is almost good, I think. Is it too fast, though? And like... I wonder what we can... We can run it and see what it looks like, but it looks it just looks so bad, like, standing still. But I guess, okay, well, it's gonna look better than no animation, at least, and then maybe you guys can give a tip on how to, uh, make the strafing look better. Uh, commando strafing. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and go pull that um, animation now from my inventory. Give me a second to grab the, the uh, ID here. Commando strafing, copy this, okay. All right, let's 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 go ahead and throw that into our guy here, I guess, and just, like, see what happens. So let's see. Uh, new animation. Animation will be strafing. Okay, cool. All right, so now how do we tell the, the player to run this now? I think we want to do it... We'll probably just do it from here, right? So let's see here. So if the key we can detect if the key is down. Let's see. If strafing we want to detect if the player is moving from side to side. But it's uh, it's hard to tell. I guess we can do it uh, moving. Let's see. We can keep track of it with a boolean, I guess. Local side movement equals false because we're not moving right now. So we can do like user input. I'll probably just add it into here. Key began. Key code. We can do else if. Input not key code is equal to enum dot key code dot uh, a or input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code dot d. Then side movement is equal to true. So that should be good and then we can go ahead and play the animation from there um, we need an input ended so we can switch that boolean to false so user input input ended connect function input uh, if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code dot a or input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code dot d then continue then side moment is equal to false all right great so we want that animation to loop now so when we press it here, we can do if side we can do if side movement is equal to false then then side movement is equal to true then repeat 
Well, actually, the animation should be looped. So all we have to do is play it once, and then we should be good. We don't have to keep replaying that same animation. So let's go ahead. We got the human and stuff up here. So we can do local anim equals local strafe anim equals script.parent wait for child uh, strafing. Or did I just call it strafe? Probably just called it strafe. Or that's the name of this. What did I name it inside of here? Strafing. God, I don't. I don't know how strafing is even supposed to be spelt, or if it's even a word. All right. So strafing should be here. So let's just call this strafing, and then strafe anim can be my human or just human in this case load animation uh, strafing and then strafe anim dot priority equals anim dot uh, priority or I guess uh, animation dot priority uh, movement so that's one of the lower priorities I believe Let's see so if it is true or if it is false then it is true and then we will go ahead and do strafing strafe anim play cool and side movement equals false we can do that same thing we can check if side movement is equal to true then set it to false just flip the boolean there we don't run it multiple times then strafe anim stop end Okay, so that should be good there. Let's go ahead and run this into Workspace and see if our animation looks halfway decent or just not run at all. Yeah, that's great. That's great also. Why? Why is this not running? Is it an issue with the animation, or is it an issue with... Oh, <laughs> okay, it's working now. Okay. That looks pretty pretty good. Uh, once we get a jump animation uh, made, it will look a little bit better. But yeah, this is, this is coming together a lot better now with the uh, strafing animation. Uh, I this character feels really slow. Is he really slow? Okay, we can delete that. We're done with that. Humanoid. Speed. Yeah, have the walk speed set, set to 10 because of uh, that other animation was super slow. But this animation is faster, so it should look a bit better. Okay. Yeah. So now we need a front and back animation, and then we can call it good. And what is going on with my arms? They're like slowly drifting away. That's not good. Oh my god. Well, I guess that's another issue to fix. Why is this happening? And they're like continuously <laughs> drifting away from our body. Amazing. Okay. Um, well, that's all we got time for today. I would like to thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, fuck. We're not the